welcome back if you are if you do hey uh hi but today i'm dropping a video on you guys it's called nucleus co-op and uh you can play pc or split screen games through or yeah through on your pc with somebody else i mean they can be far away or they can be close by it doesn't matter so um you guys can just type this in on google or whatever search engine you have and uh they have a reddit right here you want to find the reddit and it's you know you can go through and you know they got the frequently asked questions Yeah, see, I had this problem also. It's uh, it puts it inside of your user data file. So yeah, all the fixes are here. You can come here and talk to people about it, and uh, they got a list of supported games, which I'm gonna show you right here. See, people are loving this. I, I play Skyrim with other people like at home. It's so good. This guy said, I just got my girlfriend into video games, so with this on PC, there are so many adventures to toss her into. She'll be a leg beard in no time. <laughs> that guy's silly. But yeah, dude, it's awesome, man. Like, they got a YouTube. Go check it out. I'm not going to play it here. Uh, Yeah, Nucleus Co-op. It's awesome, man. Like, you can play all type of games. I'm not seeing where the games are supported. I guess you can go here, but hold on. Let me go back. It usually shows it. Where's it at? Right here? I think it's this. Okay, so uh, my mouse is so janky. I can't find where all the supported games are. They usually have a list of supported games. Is it right here? Yeah. Um, is it this? Dang it. Okay, no, it's not that. Maybe it was the other one. Well, they got a wish list, I guess, but they did have a list of like games that. It is a lot of games like it has to be steam games There's a certain type of game. It has to be you got to come in here and do your research because uh, it's very hard to set up. If you need a, a walkthrough, let me know. I'll do it. I have it set up on my computer. <laughs> I'm going to run it right now after I show you guys like, you know, where to find this information. There's a Reddit, most important. And then I'm going to go back, back, back. You can join, you know, talk to people. I'm trying to find where is the Payday 2. Um, yeah, there's a lot. Of, it's still in beta mode, so be aware of that. Halo, there's a lot of games, Sea of Thieves, you can play split screen at home, or you can link up in a server and play with people across, you know, wherever. Games that aren't even split screen or multiplayer can be played, like Dark Souls, I'm going to show you guys that, but I'm going to go to the GitHub, this is where all the files, of course, and, you know, dang it, why does it look so different? I don't know, I haven't, I haven't came here. I'm just trying to showcase this. But all you got to do is look this up, all right? You can find, you know, the versions, the releases, Alpha 2, whatever works for your computer, because some might not. Depends on your version. If you got a, a beefy PC, you're in there. You can do whatever. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, if you don't have a, if you can barely run the game, I don't advise you doing split screen in the first place, because it, it adds more, uh, what's that called? I guess, uh, more, um, dang it. What's the word I'm looking for? It adds more strain to your hard drive. God, excuse me. But all right, anyway, I'm going to launch this. I've been talking too long. Launch this Nucleus Co-op. Show you guys exactly, like, I'm playing Skyrim with it, me and my girl, and Dark Souls. So I guess I'll do Dark Souls. See now, it's important about which controls you, controllers you have plugged into into your PC because it it'll get mixed up and I think the like saves are stuck with the controllers. So like if you add a new controller instead of the one you played with, it'll be a different profile. So be careful with that. Um, yeah, you just put in how many people playing. Like this is one. You really can do four players, even eight. I think yeah, six. 
eight. Yeah, so you can do eight, and you can set up controls. It can be keyboard, it can be controller, whoever, whatever the case may be, you know. And I mean, it doesn't even have to be hooked up. Maybe Bluetooth too. I haven't tried Bluetooth. Mine's always wired. And then you can choose like horizontal, or you know, there's a lot of things you can do. It's a very good, very good app, especially if like your internet's out or you don't have nothing to do. You got your friends around, you can play like whatever Skyrim, run around with each other. You got to forward reports. That's another thing too. So, um, excuse me. You have nicknames. Put your nicknames here, which mine are gone for some reason. It's because my controls isn't hooked up. The controller with my uh, name isn't hooked up. So, I gotta definitely fix that. But it's a handful. You gotta keep it updated, most definitely. But you search for your game right here. And then you see if there's scripts for this, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you would just do that. But otherwise, download the game script. Type in the game right here. Let's say, uh, oh, yeah, here's a here's a one I'm going to do a video on soon. It's going to be Super Mario Bros. 64. You can play that at home. There's, like, people actually playing that with, like, 12 people. Super Mario 64 is pretty cool, actually. So, uh, Super... see what there it is it's a pc port it's the super mario 64 it's awesome bro so many uh yeah there's a guide on reddit on how to download it you can look at it here too just click more and then it gives you the link there and it, show, it tells you what you need exactly to do to download it so if you get lost or something just go here go to more and then click on the guide uh, excuse me under the weather Click on the guide, and then it should go there. I don't know why it's using this. I hate Microsoft Edge, but hey, it is what it is. And then, yeah. And you can see you can get HD graphics. You know, if you got a good graphics card, it's awesome. I got it. I'm going to do a showcase on it. I got the HD graphics and everything. But, yeah, that's cool. So, yeah, you can come here. It works great. You can actually play with people. People can, uh, and when they die, they just float in the bubble until, like, you pop them out of it like the old school Mario. It's cool, dude. It's cool. I advise you guys try it. I'm going to do a video about it, so stay tuned. But yeah, this is Nucleus Co-op. I just wanted to let you guys know, you know, uh, yeah, it's very good. You can go support the developers. Like, it's very awesome, man. Skyrim, you can play with anyone anywhere across the world. Just put their IP address in. You have to forward your ports, though. For Mario and Skyrim, you need to forward your ports. But now Dark Souls, I'm just going to... Go ahead and launch this on up and hopefully it doesn't lag too much. Hopefully you guys can hear me. If you made it this far, like the video and subscribe. But uh dang, they must have upgraded. There's a lot of players. Dang. Okay. See what is that? I don't know. Alright. I'm just gonna jump in here. See, you can play one player too. You don't have to. You know, you don't have to uh play with people either, so. I mean, I wouldn't use the mice, mouse, but the keyboard. So, yeah, that's two people right here. We're just going to jump in and play. <clears throat> it's going to do a split screen automatically. It's like a script. You know what I'm saying? It's a script. You got to, uh, um, it's all, got to uh, download the script with the game inside of Nucleus, and it automatically splits it into two screens, two separate controllers play on two separate screens. It's groundbreaking. And and it's it's wonderful. And then there's a mod called Skyrim Together. So literally, there can be a crowd of fifty people in one server playing Skyrim. It's awesome. I want I like I want to get a little see how it's kind of splitting the screen automatically for you. If you have a GPU or a graphics card, you have to go in there and you know do the screens automatically. You know if it's 1080p, you have to cut it half and half or whatever. You know for horizontal or vertical, which would be like 960 and 540 or some stuff like that but yeah depends on how you want to play but you see how it consolidates yeah it has to go through a firewall because you're connecting like through the internet at home with someone else so i'm gonna allow that just for this moment yeah when it, you hear a ding noise then you know it's working correctly most of the time. Like it should put itself in its place here pretty soon. As soon as the hook comes in, bingo. Alright, let's see what happens here. Bam. So yeah, that's it, man. It's it's 
I got the DSF fixed so you can put mods inside of it also so it looks good. Yep, that's it. So I'm going to grab the controller, play around just a tad bit, see how it works. You can actually play with people, so you put your tag down and you can summon people into your game. They can be at home with you or they could be anywhere else. You just got to, you know, type in their IP address, I'm assuming. I'm not sure how that works. Oh, new game. Oh, it's going to be a new game because I haven't, I'm not going to start a new one to mess up my old one. Because my controller is not synced up correctly right now to it, so I'm not going to do it right now, but yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's see if this keyboard works. Nope. But yeah, it's better off. You're better off playing with two controllers. But yeah, this is it. And I'm gonna uh, leave the video here. But if you want to get out of this screen, there's a shortcut. It's a. Uh, I think it's Control C. Is it no? I forgot how to close this. Control Alt or something. Uh, there's a way you can shut it down, or is it Control Q? Yeah, there it is. Control Q, you shut it automatically down. Everything goes back to normal. Bam. That easy, you know. But just like I said, be careful because um, it does move your files, man. It changes them into a different spot. And I will let you guys know if you do have that issue, you can go to like the Reddit or whatever. I want to show the games that's useful because I don't want y'all like, you know, wasting your time downloading something that won't work, you know, and it's like, uh, I'm trying to find it. it. They did have all the games that worked here. I don't know what happened. It's been a while since I've been here. I don't know. GTA, obviously, yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on here. If you guys want to get involved, you got, look, people playing tournaments, Halo at their house, man. Like, it's it's cool. Like, I'm trying to figure out, uh, yeah, I don't know why it's not showing where the games are. It should have a list of supported games. I did go to the YouTube, but it really doesn't sh tell you about all the list of games like it did somewhere. I'm trying to figure out. Um, maybe if I click here, I'm trying to find it for you guys because there's no point, you know. Because if you don't have the game, the right version of the game, like it has to be Steam, Steam version. Because I learned a hot lesson, I downloaded a game and uh, it didn't work, it didn't automatically split like the scripts for Steam version. It may work on your version, depends on it. I don't know. I can't find the list of games for you. Oh, here it is. Okay, finally. I'm like, man, I know I know it's here. Okay, so we have, yeah, you can just look. I'm going to just scroll slowly here. And if uh, you see some of the games you have, maybe you bought it on Steam, it's definitely able to be used. You can download Nucleus and search for your game wherever you got it stored at, and then... But be careful, it's going to move your save files, it's going to move your documents into your user folder. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's going to move into your user folder. So I'm warning you now, if y'all, if y'all, you know, if your game saves just disappear for some strange reason, you know what I'm saying? Take it with a grain of salt. I wouldn't just jump in this downloading it. And, and it's weird. I don't know why it's set up like that. Like everything downloads inside your user folder instead of your original documents. So be careful with that. And I'm gonna shut up and I'm gonna scroll down here and I'm gonna end the video there. So you guys, hope you liked the video. <clears throat> hope you guys can hear me. I'm trying to be loud now because my other videos are so low. So just uh, trying to speak up a little bit. And yeah, I'm just gonna scroll down, that's it. Uh, thank y'all for su the support. Thank you for your time. And yeah, y'all have a nice day. Thank <laughs> you.